Hey, welcome back to our morning devotional time. We're in the Gospel of Luke, chapter 6. Today, verse 39 and 40. Let's see what Jesus says. And he spoke a parable to them. Can the blind lead the blind? Will they not both fall into the ditch? A disciple is not above his teacher, but everyone who is perfectly trained will be like his teacher. So we'll just take those. So first of all, that's kind of a comical picture, isn't it? I mean, not comical in a, in a funny way, but a blind person being a leader and leading another person into a ditch, because that's, that's obviously what could happen. If you follow somebody who's going, who doesn't know where they're going, you're in trouble. You've got the wrong leaders. But look at the other verse where it said, a disciple's not above his teacher, but everyone who is perfectly trained will be like his teacher. This is telling us something that's very important today. And you know, we often are following people, we're following ideas, groups, people, teachers. We don't know them. We don't know who they are. You know, we might think we know them. We might know them a little bit, but we very rarely really know that person. Jesus spent three and a half years with these disciples. They had sort of an inkling of what Jesus was like. They had some kind of an idea. A lot of times today, though, we sort of pick out the personalities. We, This guy, he, he speaks, he's got sort of a, a, a cutting jibe he uses, you know. We kind of like that. That's I'm, I'm going to follow that guy. I mean, that's going to be my one of my favorite media guys. So we do that, or we do this. We kind of follow different ones. And we don't know how they are at home. This is putting uh, the line back to us. Be very careful that we are truly following the right leaders. Are we following spiritually leaders who are who, who know the Word of God, who have a, a humility, who approach the Bible and say, please, Lord, strip away my preconceptions and show me from your Word what you have for me. So we want to be making very careful who our leaders are, because if we're following the blind, we're going to all wind up in the ditch, and the ditch is not a good place to be. But every disciple is going to be like his teacher, one who's perfectly trained, and so we want to be very careful today who we choose to be our teacher. And there's nobody better to be our teacher than Jesus. So this is the genius, by the way, of Protestantism, where we say, you know, we're not going to follow popes, we're not going to follow personalities, although a lot of Protestants sort of do. But we want to follow the Bible. We want to follow God. And who, who, do, we know, who do we know the best? The people we've known the longest. The people we have the longest record for. Well, the Bible gives us 1,600 people years or thereabouts of interaction with God among the Bible writers, but I guess more than that really, but it was written over a period of around 1,600 years. And so we're getting a lot of insight about what God is like through his Bible writers, because every part of the Bible was co-written, co-authored by the human author and by the divine author. So part of that is, is telling us a lot about God, and plus his servants tell us a lot. So what we want to say is this, we need to be very careful who our leaders are be very careful who you pick as your leader. A lot of us are being misled all over the place because we have poor leaders and our true leader must be Jesus. And with the Bible, we can find out what there is to be found out about Jesus. So let's be in the book and God will put his blessing there. Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, thank you for the Bible. Thank you that we don't have to fall off into the ditch. Thank you that we can be perfectly trained disciples. We can become like our master and we can become like Jesus. So, Lord, be our leader. Help us to have wisdom about how far we follow human leaders and always check back according to the Bible and make sure we're on the right track. Thank you for hearing our prayer, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. May God bless you today as you follow Jesus, Jesus as your leader.